There's the EF-18M rolling part, this extremely rugged, extremely capable battlefield helicopter with a very, very distinctive profile to it. Had the Cold War turned on in Western Europe, helicopters such as this would have supported a Warsaw Pact armed advance across the North German plain into the rest of Western Europe. Thank goodness it never happened and that these helicopters have been able by virtue of being such an outstanding type to remain relevant and see them through into service as part of the NATO alliance. Uh, not used on the German planes uh, during the Cold War, uh, but used very good effect by the Russians in uh, their war in Afghanistan. Um, we are not afraid of the Russians, we are afraid of their helicopters. It was a quote that came from a very famous Mujahideen fighter. And in this very dark and menacing telescope, with a very menacing sound to it, you can see why. Yes, Heinz have been used in many, many conflicts. They had their combat debut with Ethiopia in their war of 1977-78 with Somalia. It was in Afghanistan, as Mark just mentioned, which of course came much later, but that it had significant troops carrying infantry this capability. The troops on board able to mount weapons on the side of the But the fact that last all that long, the early times had a very different cockpit configuration to this, with uh, a lot of blazing and side-by-side -side What? here is the familiar pine profile which came a bit later. Replacing that glazed area with two separate kinds of cockpits, putting the gunner in front and the pilot behind. And the spaces and with the maneuverability how weapons whether they be versions of the super puma and cougar Tricolore, an aerobatic season along the path that will lead our airport 
Aeronautica Militare to the celebration for its first century of life on March the 28th, 2023. Take off track and break release for the 10 MB239 here on the runway of air for the UC vacation.